Hey everyone, uh, in this video we are going to continue with our ECS adventure uh, cluster our container service um, let's go to task definition we do have three task definitions here we want to deregister how to delete we want to remove all of them so this one deregister go to the next task definition deregister and then the last one would be this one deregister right so we got task definitions there we got cluster we don't have cluster here anymore <coughs> Let's go to our repositories. And then, yeah, we still have the ECS web and JX ECR. So now what we want to do is go back to our ECS. <coughs> and we're going to... Um, exercise or we're going to our test maybe our test for today or our study for today or the thing that we need to know today is how we can use the SSM parameter store to assign value to our angular or like environment assign some environment variables in our angular so let's create a cluster. So this cluster will be named JX cluster. VPC, uh, all good. <clears throat> and then we're going to um, create a task definition. All right, so the task definition. So this is going to be ECS web task diff and then uh, all is good here. You want to use this ECS task execution rule. We've added a lot of um, permissions to this rule already because of some things that didn't work are not working. Um, yeah. So let's try to keep what we just copy and paste it. Okay, so this is the TDDTL, right? So this one, we're we need to copy the URI of the image. And then here, we're going to add the environment variables. So uh, with that, we're going to, because we're going to use the um, SSM parameter store here. We're going to. Where are we now? We're going to search for parameter store. Go to systems manager. Go to the parameter store. And then we're going to create a parameter. So the name of our parameter is going to be uh, API URL. Then put an X there so that we know that that is our parameter. Oh no, um, yeah, I think that this is just the name. Cost maybe customer API. Our customer endpoint or yeah just API maybe okay so that's the name this is a string I think this is where you can like customer then slash you can customer slash this one and then you can add um, API 
Okay, so the name is customer slash API. And then the standard string data text. This is the value here. We want the value to be hello customers API. Hello customer API. Okay, that is the value of our parameter. We qualify the uh, parameter name. Yeah. I wonder what. Oh, yeah, just use that one. I thought that there's something like we can do a um, like sub folder or sub directory. Okay, so this is the name of our parameter, and we're going to. We have an SSM here, uh, Systems Manager, right? So this is the Systems Manager. Want to execute this to get that customer. What's the name again? Customer API. So this is the Customer API. It, it will give us um, invalid parameter. Yeah, Customer API. <clears throat> okay, so this is now our ARN. Copy that, and then we want to put that in our variables here. So the value, if you put a value value here, this will be taken by the um will be inserted to the Docker container, and then the Docker that will be the environment of the po angular that angular will be reading so here um, we want to use the value from to read from the ssm parameter store and then the key here is the key that we defined here in our angular so the key that we defined is uh, here go to the asset and env.js so no no not that one uh, in the template so this is the key envx so we're going to put the key there uh, hold on let me sneeze right so that's it, we have a SSM. Oh, this is going to be coming from the SSM parameter. Our SSM parameters value is hello customer API. Then we're going to um where is it? Yeah, this is still the task definition, right? Yeah, this is still the task definition. So create that task definition and believe this is already created um, so let's go to our cluster and then let's open the JX cluster now we want to create a service and then this service will um, use this task definition that we just defined defined earlier and then the service name is JECS web service and then um, so we're going to apply an application load balancer to it so the application load balancers name is ECS web ALB right and then there will be a target group so target group TG here <coughs> Right, so let's create it. So later on, once we got to know how to use the uh, AWS, uh, um, what's this? ECS, there's a CLI version of it where you can just do all of this in the command line or in the script, then it will be easier for us. <coughs> but I'm not sure also if uh, we can there's a cloud formation you can use the cloud formation to create um, some an ECS cluster 
uh, but we're getting there. Maybe we need at least five years to get a hang of um, of the entire AWS thing. Okay. pause the video I believe this will take 10 minutes to deploy a service so see you uh, once it's ready uh, so we got that finished but there's an error uh, this one is uh, the creation of the cluster is great um, successful but it's not able to create the service because I don't know um, so we're not able to uh, maybe because of of some permissions I don't know so let's create a so let's go to back to the test definition select this and create a new revision <clears throat> and let's try this so here so here instead of from a value from we're going to set the value and then um, in here we're going to say inline hello right so that is the value and then we're going to create that revision and then we want to deploy create a service um, JX cluster like here application load balancer use the existing one uh, no there's an existing one okay so ECS web ALB then target group um, target group here and then what's this uh, ECS ECS web service okay so let's create that again then um, in the other screen we're going to check the root account if we are incurring some cost yeah 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 and this go it's going to um, this one is going to take another 20 minutes, I think. So let's see. Uh, it started 8.49. So now let's see. Uh, see you on the when this is ready. Right? All right. So it got successful. It got deployed successfully. All right. So let's go to the ECS web. <clears throat> let's go to network and then let's go to let's open the address and then this one here we already got it set up in our angular we put an env and env template here and then um in the app uh this one here this is just going to uh log whatever in is in the windows win 
uh, API X API underscore URL X. This is the environment that we set up here. Uh, API URL X. But this one will get overridden because of this ENVX that we set up here. And our Docker file has this env substitute to substitute the env uh, the env.js with what is in env.template.js and that's it um so if i click this one here because we set up the in the task definition we set it up to say inline hello if i can remember it correctly uh where is it you still remember where is it it's in the task definition um it's in maybe in the json so yeah inline hello so if we click this one here it should say inline hello all right cool thanks that's it bye